EA has unveiled their new Need for Speed game called Payback. Releases on November 10th on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Again, not on the Nintendo Switch. I'm starting to get a theme here. No one cares about the Switch. No love for Nintendo. But Need for Speed, you're going to be three separate characters united against the house. And the house is a local criminal cartel that rules the city's casinos, crooks, and cops. So they own everything. They own everyone. You'll be driving both on and off-road through mountains, canyons, and the desert in Fortune Valley. What did you? What were your impressions, Rich, of the Need for Speed trailer? I'm um, not really a big racing fan. It looked nice. I don't. I don't know. I kind of get kind of bored with those games so i don't i don't want to put it down it's just not my style the last need for speed game that i played i didn't own that i played um was it hot pursuit the first one with the uh police chases yeah that was ps2 wasn't it yeah that would be yeah 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 that was probably the last need for speed game that i played what about you mo what were your i actually played the last one the very last one they brought out was that the one where you can go on foot was that the one before you Mm -hmm. can actually get out of your car no after that one Oh, okay. Yeah, because the one on foot, that was Because it's not good on foot. It's just, hey, look. No. Oh, they modeled that, too. There's a difference between Need for Speed and Driver. Just saying. Or GTA. Or GTA, yeah. Um, you know, I, I don't know what to expect from this one. I, I know I saw some of the... It looked like a lot of muscle muscle cars. I saw a lot of muscle cars in there. Um, that's not a bad thing. I do like my imports, though. Um I don't know what to expect from it. I don't know how the storyline's going to go. If they if they decide to throw something like on foot, then it's probably going to deter me. Which they didn't away. show. Yeah, there was just yeah. that pre. I think they but they're going to. We go don't know yet, so that. they don't want to show too much. But if it does go that route, it's not something that's going to interest me too much. I'd rather, you know, the whole thing for me for Need for Speed is racing and get away from cops, just the way that Most Wanted did in uh, Hot Pursuit too. How's the wait? It was now? Most Wanted. Was the one that I played. Well, the most I think that was the one where they yeah. introduced those cop and you yeah. keep. Because I fucking saw you. I did a half hour doing all this damage and then the cops gave me like a half hour wasted. Yeah. Fucking so, bullshit. Most wanted. But in Need for Speed Payback, you're able to gamble on your performance. Like on a race, you're able to actually bet money and you actually be able to increase your winnings or take out your, your losses if you do lose. Uh, it will feature police pursuits because that is, was very popular in um, Most Wanted and Hot Pursuit, and new heist missions will be a part of it. So what do you guys think of the theme before E3? This is usually a common theme about the week before is a show we just, uh, Ubisoft did Far Cry 5, now Need for Speed. These are the games we're going to see more of, but what do you think of that strategy of releasing a little minute and a half trailer before E3? It doesn't. I, I don't I don't see it hurting too much because they're not showing too much to begin with. They're just it's just like go to this clip, go to that clip, go to this clip. It's kind of like they did what Rock started with uh, with um, uh, Red Dead, right? Oh, where they put out the promotional yeah, image. Yeah, and it was yeah. just like just little images here and there, yeah. and a little bit of here and there. They're not showing go- gameplay. I mean, for no, me, for speed, get eyes it's on the on the on IP and, yeah. and get them to watch the conference. Yeah, so I mean, I don't I don't see it damaging anything. I can see just telling people, hey, this is what you can expect a little of something from us, and then you know, come come to our E three conference show and see what else we got for you. You know, and see though, that's why I don't put a lot of stock in E three as a concept because I think it's a lot of bait and switch, or they show stuff when it's either too early. Or we've already known about it. Yeah, great. I got another 45 seconds of something you already convinced me to buy eight months ago. So. The Last Guardian, we're looking at you too early. No. In six years. Yeah. That's why I don't get as excited about it. You know, I get excited when they're announcing stuff, but I want something to be announced. I don't just want you to say, hey, I've got something like the Scorpio. That's part of why we're having so much talk about that is what the fuck is it? Because there's no actual knowledge. It's just you've teased us for two years. You, then a drought of games, so now we're pinning all our hopes on that. That's bad marketing, if you ask me. You need constant momentum. That's why I don't want E3. Something I want concrete. every month or every quarter that there's some EA does a play event and, and Sony does a rollout or they're doing their, their little conferences around you know going to PAX and they got their thing here in Vegas and all that kind of stuff. I want to see that kind of stuff. I don't want... 
I, I know why you like it, because, it, like you said, it's your second Christmas. But imagine if we had that, but it was kind of split up, like double the content, but split it up over 12 months. Every month there'd be something to look forward to, as opposed to you get to those certain periods where it feels like there's three months of nothing. Well, no, I think that's what it's leaning to. That's why the E3 press conferences are three and a half days. Usually it was four on Monday, and then yeah. Nintendo did their spotlight. Now we have EA on Saturday, uh, Microsoft and Bethesda on Sunday, mm -hmm. Ubisoft and Sony on Monday, Nintendo on Tuesday. So they spread it on three and a half rather than a day and yeah. Tuesday morning. So usually it's four conferences on Monday, yeah. which was hard to compete with all that. Like, wow, you win the news for two hours. Congratulations, because yeah. the next yeah, yeah. big thing. Yeah, There's not even time to dissect it because we're off to the next one. Here's our live footage And that's why everyone was on like the media. Like, oh, now we have to go to this next conference, have another team and work that's on the what problem we... with Comic-Con, too, at San Diego. It's There's too much of that stuff. And if, if you're there for the movie stuff, there's way too much content. And if you're actually there for comics, they don't have room for those panels because the studios are paying so much to come roll out the cast of Guardians 15. So... So they are sort of going towards that direction. I know like it's due one month, you know, right? Mm -hmm. Sony do right, but they are spreading through a day. So EA has their day, Microsoft Bethesda has their day. So Need for Speed did the Assassin's Creed strategy because Need for Speed was every year. And then they took a year off. So I believe it's about two or three years. I think it was two years that yeah. last year they took it off, went to work on it, and here's Need for Speed payback. So hopefully it pays off. Again, I'm not much of a racer, but there's going to be a lot of racers out there yeah. This that they're going to be competing with. Yeah. Um, Gran Turismo Sport for PS4. Yeah. Forza, they're going to show off Scorpio. Again, a way to show off graphics is yep. always a racer. Um, I'll probably get it for Sarah because I would want to see it. It's not my type of game. Uh, the Crew 2 for Ubisoft. Again, it's a different type of racer, but... Yeah. Yeah. And now Need for Speed. So that's four racers. Forza... Will probably be confirmed for this year. Um, Gran Turismo, it's always delayed, but it got delayed enough. They'll yeah. probably be releasing it this year. The Crew 2 will probably be released and Need for Speed. It's a lot of competition. Yeah, for, for the racing, yeah. Um, usually, like, I, I'm not big on uh, on uh, the crew. I wasn't, it was, it's not something that, you know, uh, captured my attention. I was always a Need for Speed guy. I bought. I would say, like, every few years I would buy a Gran Turismo. I think the last one I had was the one on PS2. Um, and that was the last Gran Turismo that I actually bought, and I forgot which one that like was. three? Yeah, I think Maybe? so. I can't even remember. But it was impressive. The one thing that I did notice on this new uh, Need for Speed, though, is that they do have uh, um, destructive, uh, m like, stuff for your car. Like, your car actually does get oh, kind of total. Because I know... The reason why they had such a big problem is because a lot of the car companies don't like to see their product get destroyed or well, show. GTA always has the the parody names. Yeah, the parody yeah. names, and that's the reason. But now I saw like a, a Ford Mustang actually get a little bit totaled and actually damaged, and the the front hood was just off. So they that's they, a better statement. If they, if they're trying to say like we're we're considered of the rules of the road yeah. showing what would happen if a Mustang hit a wall going 95 yeah. I think that's so, an actual a good thing to have them have that out there yeah so they did showcase uh, your, your car being a little bit totaled and everything so that's uh, it, it wasn't like little damages and scratches in here your car does get damaged so uh, I know that's always been a controversy with cars so that's that's different to me so that kind of captures step towards the Towards the right direction. Yeah, so or, a little, little bit uh, of realism there for, for, you know. Well, that shows up the graphics capabilities. It does. Too. It really does. So we'll see how it goes. Like I said, if, if they show off more and I'm not walking around trying to get into car into car, then, yeah, I'll probably pick it up. We'll see. I don't, like I said, if I want to play GTA, I'll play GTA. Well, you don't want the British model to come out and do the, you're working for a secret organization. <laughs> no, Bullshit. And you're like, oh, that. she's got nice cleavage. What does this have to do with anything? <laughs> Go drive right around for half an hour until the cops show up. <laughs> There's one of those games are going to be a loser yeah. out of those four racing games. Again, we have that PS4 exclusive, Xbox exclusive, and then the Crew 2 and Need for Speed was multi-platform. I, I see. I don't see any fault in... in I, I know that Forza always does really great. Yep. They put a lot of attention to detail. They, they, they revamped that game to look so beautiful. Um, Gran Turismo, uh, they have... 
ups and downs. There's certain things to that game. But it's always anticipated, though. Yeah, yeah, it's always anticipated. It does really well on the market, uh, especially with uh, Japanese consumers and American consumers. It does, you know, pretty legit. So I don't see those being going down as, as a Yeah, so the crew two and need for speed. Yeah, you got to When are you going to lose? Yeah. Or you both lose. <laughs> yeah. So. I mean, you got to step it up because they're both yeah. It's going to be competitive games, yeah. for racers this fall. Yeah. That's for sure. They do put a lot of attention to that detail, so... And EA did announce the deluxe edition of Need for Speed Payback will give players up to three days of early access to the full game. So you get that deluxe edition, you get the game three days in advance. So you can have the game beaten by the time the general public starts playing it. And that's another conversation for another day of how we feel about that. And if it should be considered a standard. Because EA has been starting to do that by deluxe edition. Here's 20 bucks more to get it three days in advance. I know some people would want that for like Battlefield, Titanfall, or just a level up. Well, I got it at midnight. I played 10 minutes after midnight and someone's already at level 30, 40. They're already maxed out. Um, but that is available at Deluxe Edition. Get the full game three days in advance. The full game for EA. But it will be at the EA press conference, which is the first press conference Saturday at noon. The EA press conference We'll see more for Need for Speed. So please let us know in the comments below what you felt about the trailer and which car game are you most excited for this fall.